I've got this lovely uh, print here of this beautiful painting here. Now you could just frame that if you wanted uh, and it looked fantastic, but we're going to make it 3D. Now what I've done, I've printed the sheets out already and cut them out one by one and you can see how they go smaller and smaller and then finally we've got all the bits and pieces that go over the top. Now that's all ready to assemble. I just want to show you the top one. I'll, I'll peel it off here so you can see. This is onto a wax paper so I can pre-organise everything. You can see on the back there I've just got some of the foam pads there and the strips here are just made from this foam tape here and you just cut it into the strips that you want. These are all ready now to layer up on top of the design. Now all you've got to do is turn that over and now gently, gently position it where it's got to go and just lay that down gently. Don't press down too much in case you've got it really badly in the wrong place and you can lift it up and just continue to layer up with all the different bits and pieces of the design. Now the good idea with this one, I've cut the centre out there and I've laid the flowers around in the order that they appear because those will go on top of that one, that one on top of that one, etc, etc. So I've laid them out on the paper so when I'm coming to assemble this it helps me get everything in the right place. So if you just keep this at the side of where you're working then you can peel these off ready to stick down. There you go, now I've 3D layered the picture and it's all layered together now. All I'm going to do is mount it up. Now as you can see I've stuck it onto the back here. Now I've got these strips of corrugated cardboard. If you can't get it this thick just use ordinary corrugated or thick cardboard and just do the layers to the heights that you want. I've got four strips that are going to go on here. Two at the top and one either side here like so. That gives you the height for when you put your mount board on the top. I'm putting my mount board on the top and as you can see I've got a thicker band here at the top, at the bottom than at the top. But this means that when you hang it on the wall it's like an optical illusion. If it was the same width it almost looks like the picture sliding out to the frame. So just to give you that eye, a good eye there, could uh, make it look good. Thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top. And then next I'm going to put my glass on the top there, make sure it's been polished both sides, there's nothing worse than assembling it all and you've got a big smudge on the inside. And then finally I've got a nice white frame to fit on this one so it's a nice fresh look. Now I've secured the back this is the top, so now it's ready to hang. 